Hey guys, if you want to see how I made this maxi dress, then keep watching. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. Okay, so to make this dress, I split the front into two pieces. I separate the top from the skirt. So on my pattern, I am starting at the belly button. Okay, so now I'm measuring from the belly button down to the floor length. My length was 42 inches. Now once you finish cutting out the front of the skirt, I mark mine with the chalk um, for the front pattern so I know the front from the back. Next, you want to fold your fabric in half again and cut out the same thing for the back of the skirt. Now, I usually like the back of my skirt to have a curve, so I'm marking the skirt two inches down from the waist, and I'm going to curve that line up to the end. You want to utilize every piece of your fabric. So here I am cutting out two straps for my neckline. Now to add the slit in my skirt, I marked 4 inches in from the waistline and I marked 13 inches down. Once you've measured your markings, you're going to cut straight up to that point where you marked. For the 
the top, you are going to need two layers to insert your straps. <laughs> Now before you sew anything, you have to insert the straps into the top. So here I'm laying them down and you're gonna see me pin them in. I'm going to pin the straps in place and then pin the other layer of the top over this. So keep watching. Once you finish the top, it should look like this when you turn it right side out. And you want to make sure that you don't have any holes or any parts that you missed. Once the top is complete, you can start putting everything together. So I did put the skirt attached to the top. And I also attached a lining to the back of the skirt. And now I'm going to pin everything together.
final step would be to hem all the raw edges and once you're done you can see here i am putting the dress together these are the straps that i needed to tie the back of the dress and everything is complete